Traveler, Paimon, you're here too? Yuffie, Shinobu! Here for some hot pot, huh? What's the occasion? No, it's nothing like that. One main restaurant's just closed for a couple of days. But it's nice to try somewhere different for a change. Su Arnyang's hot pot is pretty good, and you can't get it at one main restaurant. Well, it was partly our fault. Recently, some old classmates from the Tongwen Academy got in touch and said they were organizing a get-together. Yenfei's the most senior among us, since she's the most qualified, so she got to pick the location. And she booked Wanmin Restaurant. The turnout was a lot higher than expected, and in the space of two days, we somehow got through all of the restaurant's stock for the week ahead. <sighs> Boss's enormous appetite was also a significant contributing factor. He went a little crazy. Chef Mao was pretty wiped out by the end, but he had a huge smile on his face. It was the best business he's had in months. The only thing is, it'll take him at least a couple days to fully restock. Bull Checker's here too? Ah, oh, Paimon's surprised we haven't seen him. Those horns stick out like two sore thumbs. Yeah, when he heard I was meeting up with some old classmates, he got very excited and decided he was coming with me. His logic was, and I quote, any classmate of Shinobu's is a classmate of mine. Notwithstanding the fact that Boss has never studied a day in his life, I think he just feels that he didn't get enough chances to indulge his taste buds last time he was in Liyue. That other kid you guys brought with you though, what was his name again? Oh yeah, Grandmaster Hanakado. He seems like a smart cookie. You probably didn't notice because you were busy chatting to your classmates at the time, but he was helping Chef Mao out in the kitchen, uh, trying to pick up some uh, Liyue cooking skills. I suspect he just wanted to learn how to make some new dishes to feed to his own Ikabuto and make them stronger. Grandmaster Hanakado? Uh, where do we know that name from? Didn't we meet him during that beetle battle thing that Bullchucker organized that one time? That's right. Good memory, Paimon. After the near catastrophe that was the beetle brawl, Hanakado became an ally of the Arataki gang. He and Boss regularly hang out to have practice matches and discuss Onikabuto rearing strategies. But to his credit, a lot of the things he ropes Boss into doing in the name of beetle brawling actually result in Boss doing some real work for a change. It's made things a lot easier for me. For instance, they've decided to spend a few days helping Chef Mao restock the kitchen. Partly to thank him for the epic feast. And partly because they would like to use the opportunity to look for new ingredients to boost their Onikabuto's performance. I think they're out looking for crabs at Guyun Stone Forest right now, with Miss Shangling and Mr. Guoba. They all seem to get along great. Guoba's already made friends with Crimson Staff, as Ito calls it, and, uh, something something Beetle King, or whatever Hanakado's is called. They've been out for quite a while, though. Shouldn't they be back by now? Unless something put them in a playful mood. In which case, it's anyone's guess what kind of mess they might be in by now. Well, now Paimon wants to join in the fun! Crabs from Glee and Stone Forest? Mmm, Paimon bets they taste great! Why don't we go see if they need our help? The sooner one mean restaurant is fully stocked, the sooner we get to eat there again! And while we're at it, we can see what Bullchucker and Grandmaster Hanakado are really up to over there. So you two are gonna head over? I think that's a great idea! 
The Traveler, Paimon, and Ito make a good team. Not everyone can get through to him, but he usually listens to you two. You make a good point. Well, thanks for checking up on them, you two. Easy. Ah, I see it now. A hard shell, a whole bunch of legs, looks like a born warrior. The crab is the Onikabuto of the sea. Throw one of these bad boys in the ring, and your Onikabuto will have to seriously up its game. That's right, Oni King! Technically, the crab belongs to a different species, but it has all the qualities of a perfect warrior beetle. Pitting Oni Kabuto against crabs during their training is a surefire way to rapidly improve their strength. Then it's time for Crimson Staff and Ironclad Beetle King to train harder than ever before! No rest until they've flipped every crab in the area onto its back. And once they're done, we'll just need to stoop down and scoop them up. No more chasing crabs all over the beach. La, 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 la. Looks like Xiang Ling and Guoba are part of the gang now. Uh-huh. Traveler Paimon! Fancy meeting you here! Are you guys out for a walk or something? Hey, Xiang Ling! Hey, Guoba! Well, we were going to gorge ourselves at one mean restaurant, but then we ran into Yanfei and Shinobu, who told us you were closed for a few days. So we figured we'd come find you guys and see if you needed any help. Huh, you guys. <laughs> Thanks for being such loyal customers. It's so kind of you to help. With Mr. Ito and the Grandmaster helping me for the last couple of days, we've actually got most of the things we need now. All that's left for us to get are some fresh crabs. And Crimson Staff and Ironclad Beetle King will be able to round them up for us in no time. If everything goes to plan. Uh-oh. I may have spoken too soon. It's a Geofishup hatchling! Blue checker! Hanakata, watch out! Hold on, stay calm. I'll assess the situation. Hmm. Hard shell? Check. Legs? Not too many. But it more than makes up for that with the whole rolling thing. Yeah, looks like a mean fighter. This is what you want to train your own Ikabuto against. Uh, um, uh, how right you are, Oni King. With a training partner like this, an Oni Kabuto is sure to reach the apex of its abilities. Uh, what? Are they serious right now? Wait, I think I recognize that thing. It's always rolling around on a nearby island. It's made quite a reputation for itself as far as Guyun Jiu bishops go. People have taken to calling it Crystal Tornado. It's because if you ever set foot on its little island, then it whooshes over and gives you a nasty whack on the head. It's really aggressive. How did you come to learn that? Oni King, allow me to send in the troops. I shall monitor the battle from a safe distance to assess our enemy's prowess. Go, Ironclad Beetle King! Test your challenger to its limits! Ah! Ironclad Beetle King! Oh, one hit and it's all over? I don't believe it. That, 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 that's not possible! Okay, listen up, Grandmaster. The glorified pet rock is clearly tougher than it looks. Time to show it what we're really made of. 
From what I've seen, our opponent has a lot of brute force, but no finesse. Lugging all that weight around is a recipe for crude and clumsy attacks. And if you don't land the hit, it ain't worth squat! Luckily for us, our Oni Kabuto have a little thing called agility on their side. Go, Crimson Staff! Dodge the limbs and tail, wait for an opening, and aim for the... Belly. Oni King, shall I send in some more Oni Kabuto, or...? Uh, I, I will... You, um, what? Wait, what's Goba doing? No! Le, 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 le. Understand Gwoba? Huh. It just up and left. So, to answer your question from a moment ago, Paimon, I found out about Crystal Tornado's aggressive tendencies the last time we came to gather crabs in Guillaume Forest. Tornado gave Gwoba a big old bash on the head the moment he saw him. But then Tornado fell unconscious and apparently wasn't seen for weeks afterwards. I guess he's finally recovered from his injuries. Man, what a cool guy! I mean, I figured he was a pretty epic dude just from the look of him, but I've never seen someone just stare an enemy into submission like that. There's only one possible conclusion. This is a warrior with strength, the likes of which I've never seen before. I must say, I concur. I don't know how, but Guoba san simply commanded that hard-shelled beast to stand down and retreat at once. Come to think of it, he seems like a pro at catching crabs, too. Hmm... Gobasan clearly has some sort of power that lets him bend the minds of shelled organisms to his will. Ah! Oh, that's it! The truth has been hiding in plain sight all this time! Gobasan is a virtuoso beetle battler. With his skills, he can direct an Oni Kabuto's each and every move! <laughs> Huh? Of course! Yeah, that makes total sense! <laughs> These are the kind of brainwaves that make you the Arataki Gang's greatest ally. See, if we can get Guobasan to teach us the art of shelled organism mind control, we'll be unstoppable. The entire beetle fighting world will be our oyster! <gasps> can we stop discussing what special powers Guoba may or may not have? We have to get these crabs back before too long or they'll go bad. And then this whole trip will have been a waste. Right! Get a move on, bug checker! Shinobu's waiting for you! Also, we want to eat. Huh? Wait, wait, when did we get two new people? Oh, compadre! <laughs> if it isn't the Yoni King's right hand. Oh, and of course, the flying lavender. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Sky cleaving white iron lavender melon. Wait. Oh, man. Don't tell me you saw me lose that beetle fight just now. Oh, so humiliating. Oh, come on. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. Oni Kabuto don't stand a chance against the Geo Bishop Hatchling. Next time, just give it a couple of whacks with your club. But that would defeat the whole purpose. Uh, let me explain. Now, it's no secret that you've kicked a fair share of butt in your time. And from what I hear, that includes some of the biggest, most powerful, and meanest butt around. So how'd you do it, huh? Were you born stronger than your most fearsome foe? No! Do you rock up to every fight believing that your odds of winning are 100%? Of course not! You start with an impossible goal, defeating the unbeatable enemy. And then you do whatever you gotta do to achieve it. Because even you can't know how much potential you have until you push yourself past your limits. That's how you make yourself not just stronger, but stronger than you ever imagined you could be. Flee the fight once, you'll probably flee the next time. And the time after that, next thing you know, you're that boring little twerp who never had the guts to put himself out there. Because when you flee the fight, all you're really running away from is the person you could have become. Uh, what's gotten into Bullchucker? He actually said something that made sense. 
For once, Paimon has nothing to argue back. <sighs> you hear that? Boba's getting hungry. Crystal Tornado's gone now anyway, and your Onikabuto won't be ready to fight again anytime soon. So, are you just gonna stand here gawking, or...? Chef Sama makes a good point. We are still far from being worthy enough to seek the tutelage of the mighty sensei, Guoba-san. Really? I have heard tell of a great contest of fine warriors that was once held in this place. We stand on hollowed ground, and the very air we breathe is abuzz with the might of great duelists. I say we set up a ring here and now. I shall summon the mightiest beetle battlers of Liyue, and as iron sharpens iron, we will hone our skills and training with them. Then, and only then, will we be ready to seek the guidance of Guoba-san. Once we have learned his ways, we will track down that shelled beast and do battle against it once more. Paimon's got a... well, a feeling about this, but not actually sure if it's a good one or a bad one. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh, oh! Oh, I'm with you, Grandmaster. Yeah, you're saying the time has come to unveil the plan. This is the moment. It's time for the long-awaited Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp. That's right! There's no time to lose, Oni King. Let's set up the arena! Hey! Hey! We weren't done talking to you yet! Ugh, unbelievable. Look at them. Not a care in the world. What did they say it was called again? The Arataki... something something? Anyway, some sort of beetle fighting tournament, right? I think Hanakato might have mentioned it before. If I wasn't so busy with work at the restaurant, I'd love to take Woba along and watch. But right now, the top priority is dealing with all these fresh crabs. Come on, let's head back! Shinobu was saying the Arataki gang came to Liyue for her classmates' reunion, right? Won't throwing an impromptu beetle-fighting competition interfere with their plans? <sighs> well, not much we can do about it except head back to Wanmin and tell Shinobu. money. To. <sighs> Let me guess, Ito and Hanakato are up to their usual antics? We'll fill you in shortly. First, I need to get all these pristine ingredients safely stored away. The Mist Flower Corollas won't keep the crabs cool for much longer. Plus, the Traveler and Paimon are valued customers, eagerly awaiting a grand feast. I'll get cooking, then we can catch up while we eat. Hockey Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp? <sighs> that doesn't bode well. It won't be long before things get out of hand. We're guests here. 
which means we're supposed to be on our best behavior. Leave them to me. I'll put a stop to it. Hmm, I don't know. I think it could be fun. Anyway, don't stress. Beetle fighting sounds like a great event idea. According to the Comprehensive Compendium of Liyue La, we just need to notify the relevant office of the Ministry of Civil Affairs, and they'll issue a permit pretty much right away. You never know. Maybe you'll make some new friends with this event. Then you'll have even more people to hang out with when you next come to Liyue. Yeah, and you can bring them all to Wanmin Restaurant for your meals. <sighs> Wait. First the event, and now you're already planning our next trip? Uh, given the Arataki gang's financial situation... Ah, oh, come on. You gotta learn to cut loose more. You came all this way. You should be focused on catching up with old friends, making some new ones, and just generally hanging out and doing lots of fun stuff. I need to be at the Ministry of Civil Affairs shortly for something else anyway, so I can get the ball rolling for Ito's thing while I'm there. Alright, I'll handle that while you guys head back to Ito and help get the venue set up. I'll join you later and bring the permit with me. Yanfei is in a good mood today. She didn't take any persuading to help out with the event. Well, event planning's right up her alley. She was an officiator in the Masterful Chefs Contest, and she has a lot of contacts because of her work. She's also on vacation at the moment, and her old friend Shinobu's in town. That's definitely put her in the mood to have some fun. Well, I've missed my chance to discuss the issue of our funds. Guess I've got no choice but to deal with Boss directly now. Traveler, Paimon, thanks for all your help so far. I promise I'll make it up to you the next time we meet. Uh, you mean you don't need us to come with you? Well, if Ito's serious about defeating that Geovishop hatchling with Oni Kabuto, Paimon's kinda curious to see how everything goes down. Now that you mention it, didn't you help boss out a lot at the last one of these? The almighty Arataki extraordinary and exhilarating extreme beetle brawl? We didn't really help out, we just played a few matches. But it was actually super fun. <laughs> Either way, it sounds like you understand Boss's perspective far better than I do, so maybe you'll be able to help me talk some sense into him. I'll take all the help I can get. Sure, or, uh, you know, maybe we could just let him go ahead with it, huh? All right, boss. Fun time in Liyue is over. Let's head home. Shinobu! I, I, I can explain! No, you can't. Our funds have run out. We've spent too long here. After buying our tickets for the boat home, the gang fund is down to double digits. How can we possibly afford to hold a tournament? Yenfei Senpai very kindly offered to handle the legalities, otherwise you wouldn't even have a permit. Are you expecting her to foot the bill as well? Put a stop to this now, before things get out of control. But, but, you don't understand. We have a situation here. Normally, I'm happy to do things your way, but the Arataki Gang's two top Onikabuto warriors just lost to some pet rock. Look, we have a whole arena set up and everything. If we back out now, we'll be the laughing stock of the entire beetle fighting world. You've lost plenty of beetle fights before. Even I can beat you, and I'm not even a serious player. Why are you so bothered about losing to some Bishop Hatchling? Oh, Shinobu! That was a low blow. Anyway, that's ancient history. I'm on a whole different level now. There isn't a single beetle fighter out there who can touch me. I'm serious about beating that pet rock. Don't think I've got what it takes? <laughs> Try me. Gladly. You want to do this the hard way? We'll do it the hard way. Grandmaster Hanakato, get me and Boss a beetle each. Maybe he'll be more amenable to reason after a crushing defeat. If I win, you have to come back with me. No complaining, and no making any more trouble for Yenfei-senpai. 
Shinobu! Oni King! I... You're really doing this, huh? I, uh, didn't think you'd take it this far. Okay, uh, so, sky cleaving white iron lavender melon, I delegate this challenge to you. You're making Paimon fight me? <laughs> no surprises there. Uh, what Bull Checker is really saying is, if you want to fight the Oni King, you have to go through Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon first. Exact mundo, amigo. Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon is one of the Arataki Gang's top beetle fighters, but even she isn't in the same league as moi. So, Shinobu, if you want to duel with the Don, you gotta beat the Milan. Except... Paimon refuses. What? Even Paimon knows that you can't just expect other people to pick up your slack all the time. It's not right. So if you're out of Mora, then tough luck. You gotta watch your spending. If Paimon helps you out, that'll just make more trouble for Yanfei, and then Shinobu will owe her a favor. Okay, true. You make a fair point. But it's all good. I have a backup plan for situations like this. If we really are out of funds, then, uh, I'll find a job. I'll work nights, do beetle fighting during the day, pay any expenses out of my own pocket. It'll work. The Grandmaster has helped me find a few good gigs before. As long as it's physical work and the pay is good, I'll take it. Now you're talking! See, that's the kind of attitude Paimon can get behind. <sighs> I can't believe you guys. Your plan is all well and good, and I do hope you try not to be a burden on other people. But you still need to beat me first. I know what Boss is trying to do. He's making me fight Paimon first to use up my Onikabuto stamina. <laughs> well, good luck with that. Even with a disadvantage, I'm still not going to make this easy for you. Shinobu nearly got the better of Paimon there. Hey, hey! <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Sky cleaving white iron lavender melon destroys Shinobu on the first attempt! Ooh! <laughs> you really are natural at this, aren't you? As agreed, we now have Shinobu's official support to host the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp. <sighs> I haven't battled in ages. Guess I'm out of practice. I'll have to move to plan B. Try to keep costs to a minimum, and make sure Yenfei-senpai doesn't end up doing everything for us. I'm gonna hold you to your word, boss. Fund this event yourself by working nights. Battle beetles all you want during the day. And one other thing. Our boat tickets home were booked well in advance. I can amend the date, but only by a few days. So, keep this event to maybe four or five other people tops, or you'll run out of time, okay? I don't want you getting carried away. Got it, sure, promise. Cross my heart and hope to die. Shinobu, you've got nothing to worry about. Okay, I'll head down to the harbor and see about changing the tickets. I'm warning you, you'd better not go spending all our mora while I'm gone. Okay, so we've only got five battles to get in shape enough for Guobasan. Then we gotta master what he teaches us, then take down that cocky pet rock. Shinobu is asking us to do the impossible here. But this is the kind of hardcore challenge I live for. <laughs> Don't worry, Oni King. I'll find people to join us in our great training endeavor. So long as there are worthy beetle battlers to be found, I'll be sure to sense their presence and bring them over to our camp. We haven't been in Liyue for long, but I'm certain that this vast land is filled with mighty warriors. We'll have no trouble finding but one of these each day. Now, 
As for the esteemed Oni King's right hand and honorable sky-cleaving white iron lavender melon... <laughs> We've done our part. We saved your butts by getting Shinobu to agree to this. Paimon saw the look of sheer terror on your faces. You're clearly no match for her. Oh, well, of course. <laughs> I, I will, uh, uh, leave it to me. I'll come up with something. You'll get your reward, don't you worry. In the meantime, if the Oni King's right hand and sky-cleaving wide iron lavender melon don't have other plans, then prepare to watch history in the making. Because in a few short days, I, the bona fide Beetle Battle King, will raise my game to new heights, win the respect of Guobasan, and become a living legend! Booyah! Cool! Yeah, we'll be watching. So, uh, <laughs> no pressure or anything, but... If you mess this up and everyone completely wipes the floor with you, we'll see the whole thing. Hello all, I am Iron Tongue Tien, here with an official signboard for the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp. It also doubles as your permit to run the event. Whoa! Is this supposed to be Bullchucker and Crimson Staff? It's so over the top. Ah! Uh, oh, sweet! Sadly, it's not my own original artwork, but check out that design! And that line work! It's so cool! <laughs> it's epic! It captures exactly how awesome I look as a pro beetle fighter in the heat of battle! Dude! Wait, not that. Uh, how do they usually address strangers in this part of the world? Uh, maybe... Esquire? Ah, that's the one. Tien Esquire, your artwork is incredible. Words cannot express the Arataki Gang's gratitude. You can drop the Esquire, Don Arataki. Also, I'm no artist, just a storyteller. This promotional artwork was done by a young lady at the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Yenfei looks out for her a lot, so when she heard about your event, she offered to contribute some artwork. Oh, so this is Yen Fei's doing. Man, she really thought of everything. This is exactly what we needed. Young Grandmaster Hanakado here tells me that your boot camp is an ambitious training program that could shape the future of beetle fighting. Well, I'm no beetle fighter myself, but I've heard a lot about it and have always wanted to try it out for myself. Who knows, it might just give me the inspiration for a great new story to tell in the neighborhood. Beetle fighting is something you have to have a natural affinity for. Take Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon, for instance. She battled with great prowess on her first time after only a short demonstration. Once Tien Esquire has grasped the basics of beetle fighting and understands the appeal, we might get a lot of free publicity from his storytelling. Dude, ah, oh, that'd be awesome. All right, Squirt. Uh, squat. Yeah, yeah, Squire. Yeah, uh, Squire. <laughs> uh, may, may the best man win.
<laughs> Wonderful! Hmm. I can see that the Arataki gang has transformed beetle fighting into a fiercely competitive high adrenaline sport. Yes, there are the rudiments of a fine tale here to be told time and again. Great dueling with you, TN Esquire. Ah, the pleasure was all right. The phrase is, the pleasure is all mine, Oni King. <laughs> Details, schmeat tales. Point is, thank you for supporting our boot camp. I extend my gratitude to you too, Don Arataki. I intend to stay here and watch a while longer to further enrich my writing. Uh, please, pay no regard. Uh, just pretend I'm not here. Man, I've never fought against someone so cultured before. My mind's buzzing from all those fancy words. What's that buzzy feeling called again? Oh yeah, learning. Looks like the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp is getting off to a good start. <laughs> Oni Kabuto are our friends, like cats and doggies. Another kid? Oh, didn't we go through this last time? Well, yeah, but Grandmaster Hanakado's a kid, too. And one of the other kids from last time was actually pretty good, so age is no measure of a beetle fighter's skill. Although, uh, Buttercup of Terror has no prior beetle battling experience, her chosen Oni Kabuto has the air of a formidable warrior. I don't know what you guys are talking about. My Oni Kabuto was a present from Daddy. He got it from a new friend he made last time he was away. Ho oh, ho! Your father sounds like a real stand-up guy. Okay, let's send out Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon for this one. We don't want any accusations of bullying flying around. Huh! You make it sound like Paimon's the weakest choice on our side! Still, Paimon's probably the safest choice. But only because you two maniacs are a danger to yourselves and others when you're in a competitive mood. Don't be nervous, young lady. It's only a game, so it's just for fun! I nearly died of a heart attack. That little beastie is fierce. Even I would have had a hard time. How'd you get so freaking good at this without a teacher? Is everyone in Liyue a born warrior or something? So this is how Oni Kabuto play together? I get it now. Uh, do you have time to play some more? And I also want to watch you guys play too. Looks like Buttercup of Terror has a real knack for this. Oh, kind of terrifying. Hey, Bullchucker, if you had this kind of talent, you could probably have learned how to communicate with shelled creatures just by listening to Guoba talk to Crystal Tornado. Ha! <laughs> yeah, I wish. Hey there, I'm back. So then, how's the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp coming along? Great timing, Yanfei! 
My savior! Oh, thanks for helping out with the permit. Yo, and for the sign with the epic artwork. Wait, I know that look. Are you, uh, looking to flip some beetle too? Huh? Something wrong with that? I have a big client who does a lot of cross-border commerce. Anyway, she showered me with gifts once after I helped her win a huge lawsuit. And among them was a very special Onikabuto. I didn't know how to look after it at the time, so I got Granny to look after it for a while. It's looking pretty buff these days. Mind if I join in? You're not worried I'll cramp your style, are you? We ought not dismiss your savior, Oni King. What she lacks in experience, she makes up for with one of the sturdiest built and most awe-inspiring Onikabuto I've ever seen. You make me an offer I can't ref- All right, time to send in the Oni King's right hand with Crimson Staff. I know my compadre will stay cool under pressure. So it's me versus the Traveler? All right. I haven't quite got the hang of this game yet, so apologies in advance for any blunders. Kabuto is so strong! What is Madame Penguin feeding that thing? See? Your savior's Oni Kabuto is a force to be reckoned with! But just like last time, when my generals threw you a few curveballs, the mightiest blade cannot slay its foe except in the hands of a skilled swordmaster. Why wise words, Grandmaster? Oh, okay. Good thing my compadre kept it together. Wow, what a blast! I could get into this whole beetle battling thing. <sighs> this is so much fun. Thanks, everyone. I'm gonna stick around and play some more. No, 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 this, this makes no sense. How, how did you do that? My. My reputation is destroyed! <laughs> it's like a bean to the heart. It was an honor doing battle with you, good sir. What the? So polite. <laughs> so, been busy losing while we were away, Bullchucker? I don't see it that way. Unless the bona fide Beetle Battle King is ready to give up now. He hasn't lost to me yet. In battle and in life, it's normal to hit setbacks every once in a while. But a setback only turns into a failure if you make the decision to stop trying. Word! Heck yeah! I ain't about to admit defeat yet! Still, there's nothing to be gained from constantly making excuses. Don't put all your energy into talking garbage. Spend it on fighting a little harder instead. Oh, burn. Oni King, this brand of enemy doesn't seem to be your area of expertise. I advise you send in another of your generals and observe the duel in detail. Watching others do battle is also a crucial part of a warrior's training. Some skills one learns by doing, others one learns through observation. Ah, good point, Grandmaster. And good timing, compadre. Oni King's right hand, I'm handing the fight over to you. It's your turn! Make it count, Traveler. So, I'm going head-to-head -head with the legendary Traveler. Guess I better look sharp.
Nicely done. You beat me. I'd go as far as to say that it's an honor to lose against the Traveler. Ah, so that's how you do it. I never would have thought of that. Yep, when you're up against a cunning enemy, you gotta get creative. When your tactics fail, you have to change your point of view. In our journeys far and wide, we often have to think on our feet. Clinging to old methods can never solve the problem, no matter how hard you try. I think Shinobu said something like that once, too. I guess there's something to it after all. But I'll mull it over some other time. Right now, my focus is on the task at hand. More beetle fighting! <laughs> How's it going? Having fun? Shangli and Guaba, you finally made it! Well, Bullchucker's certainly having a blast. The day has finally come! Guaba-san, I've been training hard at the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp, and now I want to show you just how far I've come. Uh, and Crimson Staff, too. If my progress satisfies you, then please, teach me! Show me the way to communicate with Crimson Staff, Crystal Tornado, and all the shelled organisms of this world. Do that, and I swear, once I become the reigning champion of the beetle fighting world, I will build a mighty statue in your image at the Arataki Gang's beetle fighting headquarters! <sighs> what the? Guobasan got a brand new Oni Kabuto. Look normal. Oh, it appears to be not a typical Onikabuto shell, but one built of resilient wood. Is it wearing a suit of armor? We told Granny all about your Onikabuto boot camp. It really piqued her interest when she heard that Guobo was getting a disciple. As it turned out, a friend of hers had made a whole bunch of gardening and landscaping machines to look after the silk flowers on the terrace. They're called bloom pruners. The Bloom Pruner can transform into the shape of any creature to blend into its environment. Squirrels, butterflies, finches, you name it. And of course, Onikabuto too. So, Master gave Goba a Bloom Pruner and got it to take the form of an Onikabuto so it can battle against you. That's pretty high tech for a gardening appliance. Uh, Xiaoling's master is Madame Ping, so Madame Ping's friend... <gasps> Aha! Of course! No machine can compare to a real live Oni Kabuto warrior! Did Guobasan pick a dumbed down enemy on purpose so we can showcase all our awesome skills? You may be wise to temper your optimism, Oni King. My beetle senses are failing to detect this Oni Kabuto's might. Or perhaps. It's too profound for me to fathom. It's not even alive. There's nothing for you to sense. Uh, anyway, Guobasan may possess limitless power, but a warrior needs to be one with his weapon. The bond between Oni Kabuto and Trainer is forged through blood, sweat, and tears. Not uh, wood, mesh, and gears. <laughs> Crimson Staff and I are like glove and fist. Let's get this duel going. It's time for Guobasan to witness my true potential once and for all.
Whoa, Bullchucker sure made short work of the Bloom Pruner. I won! Victory is mine! With my trusty Crimson Staff, I have defeated the mighty Guobasan! Alrighty then. <laughs> the moment I've been waiting for. <clears throat> Guobasan, if I have earned your recognition, I humbly ask you to teach me the ways of shelled organism communication. Uh, huh? Guobasan, you look... pleased? But you just lost to me in battle. Does this mean you're proud of me for my swift progress? Aw, oh, shucks! I don't know what to say! <laughs> you're too kind, Guobasan. Oh, you're just being modest. I know you were going easy on me. It looks like Guobas all warmed up now. The Bloom Pruner is ready to operate at full power. Guoba, remember the plan? In this round, we want to increase the Bloom Pruner's power output from a tenth of a percent to one percent, okay? Any higher and you'll risk knocking Ito's Onikabuto out cold. <sighs> okay, there it is. Paimon knew something was up. As I feared, we have barely scratched the surface. Wait! Well, hold on a minute. A tenth of one percent? As in 0.1 percent? As in one one thousandth? Uh, you've got to... You've got to be kidding me. All that was just one one thousandth of its top power? Guoba's a little confused. You did say you wanted to train your Onikabuto to defeat Crystal Tornado, correct? I thought it would go without saying given the size. The Bloom Pruner has to shift rocks the size of casserole dishes, so obviously it has to be pretty strong. Even then, Crystal Tornado is bigger still. It dwarfs me and Guoba, and it's even taller than you! That's impossible! If we were talking, oh, twice as strong as the last fight, I think I'd have a shot. Ten times as strong, and we're already looking at losing most, if not all, of the time. About a thousand times stronger? Who am I kidding? It's hopeless. <laughs> when your tactics fail, you have to change your point of view. In our journeys far and wide, we often have to think on our feet. Clinging to old methods can never solve the problem, no matter how hard you try. Of course, Guobasan. This is what you've been trying to tell me all along. I gotta study mechanics, then build a suit of armor for Crimson Staff that'll take his abilities to a whole new level. Or maybe, heck, I could build a bigger, stronger mechanical Onikabuto, piloted by Crimson Staff under my direction. <gasps> An Onikabuto piloting a mechanical Onikabuto? How do you expect to pull that off? It does not even still count as a beetle battle. Seeing the power of Bloom Pruner has made me realize something. There's a natural limit to Onikabuto's strength. People have tried to tell me this before. Shinobu, the Grandmaster, especially Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon. Admitting defeat is shameful, but not even trying to mix up your tactics one time? That's just plain stupid! Guobasan has shown me a new path. Mechanically modified Onikabuto. With this new technique in my arsenal, size will be no obstacle to me and my valiant beetle warriors as we set out to beat Crystal Tornado once and for all! No, no, no. <laughs> Looks like Guoba's not too sure about all that. Mechanics, huh? Hmm... I'd have to get my master to see if her friend would be willing to help. She's the expert. Did you say expert? Please, Guobasan, Chef-sama, my savior! Introduce me. Uh-huh. Thinking of becoming the second Arataki gang member to study in Liyue, are you, boss? Ah, Shinobu! When'd you get back? Time's up. We spent our last mora on these boat tickets. And if we don't get to the harbor pronto, they'll go to waste. But, 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 I, I, give me a minute, okay? We're, we're, we're in the middle of an extremely important discussion here. Yeah, I heard. 
I was actually very pleased to hear the suggestion of you doing some sort of studying coming out of your own mouth. I have some relevant experience, so I can write a little booklet to get you started. But unfortunately, studying in Liyue is very expensive. The Arataki Gang's typical expenditures are a drop in the ocean by comparison. So, what do you intend to do about it? It'll be fine. I'll just... Uh, I'll work like a horse when I get back to Inazuma. I know what I'm getting into here, all right? I got it all planned out in my head. It's not like I've never gotten paid work before. As soon as I get earning, we'll all have cash for the burning. <laughs> And don't think for one second I'll be abandoning you or the rest of the Arataki gang, neither. I ain't the kind of head honcho that runs off to go study and leaves his gang behind. If we're gonna study, we do it as a team. Once I've got enough mora for everyone's tuition fees, the whole Arataki gang is coming to Liyue. We'll study together, learn some epic new skills together, and come out the other side as the stronger, smarter, invincible Arataki gang. You're saying all of the right things. Uh, who are you and what have you done with Boss? Wow, Bullchucker! Those are some bold words! You better make sure you follow through. <laughs> of course, I, uh, I still need to iron out some deeds in terms of what kind of work I can get and how much I can break in per day, but yeah. In that case, Oni King, I'll stay here in Liwe. Firstly, this will enable me to follow up with Chef Sama and discuss our study plans in detail. Secondly, now that word of the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp has begun to spread, I'll be able to scout for talented warriors and continue optimizing the Oni Kabuto training diet. Also, if the Oni King's right hand and sky cleaving white iron lavender melon wish to continue battling or analyze the battle so far, I'll be here to support them. Awesome! Good thinking, Grandmaster! Okay, standard procedure applies. I'll let your grandpops know what you're up to so he won't worry about you. <laughs> man! I am so pumped to see what you'll have for us next time I see you. I do need to make one thing clear, though. I can't promise that we'll be able to talk an Adeptus into taking you on as students. Yenvi and I will do our best, but we'll just have to see how it goes. The great master of whom you speak boasts a skill others can only dream of. Their pride and prestige don't faze us. The important thing is that I, on behalf of the Oni King and the Arataki Gang, can find a way to show them we're serious and sincere in our quest to master the mechanical arts. So I'll need to do some research to find out what kind of gift we should offer if we're to be seen as worthy of learning the mysteries behind the manufacturer of the Bloom Pruner. Boss, we gotta leave right now or we're not gonna make it in time. <sighs> All right, I guess this is it. Traveler, Paimon, Yenfei Senpai, Miss Shengling, Guoba, you've all been a huge help to Boss with this Beetle Battle event. I really can't thank you enough. Please, take this as a token of my gratitude. I hope you can find some use for it in your future endeavors. Shinobu, you're so thoughtful! The time has come. Adios, compadre. See ya, sky-cleaving white iron lavender melon. Goodbye, Guobasan and Chef-sama. And farewell, my savior. I'll be back real soon. I promise. We'll meet again. La 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 la. Don't make promises you can't keep, Bullchucker. It's good to have ambitions, but don't let yourself get carried away in the heat of the moment. Do what Shinobu tells you. Be realistic about what you can achieve, and make sure you pace yourself. But of course, if everything works out, Paimon can't wait to see Crimson Staff driving a ginormous mechanical Onikaba till the next time we meet. <laughs> Thank you.